Hi, I'm Ed Fulbright, CPA, CGMA, PFS, a Fulbright Financial Consulting PA. We would like to welcome you to our educational briefing. Despite the double-digit plunge in stock prices and unusual rebukes by the President, the Federal Reserve Board just repeated its long-held strategy for controlling rates and inflation. Using almost the exact same words as in September to describe the outlook, the Fed monetary statement said nothing had changed. Two days after pivotal midterm federal elections and two weeks after an 11% drop in the Standard & Poor's stock index, amid a swirl of controversy, Fed policy remained stable. The Fed raised rates by a quarter point three times so far in 2018, most recently on September 26th. On October 10th, after a sharp sell-off in stocks, Mr. Trump said the Fed has gone crazy. On October 16th, he said the Fed was out of control. And on October 23rd, he said the Fed chair almost looks like he's happy raising interest rates. Presidents have jawboned Fed chairs before, but this was unusually blunt. Productivity, a special sauce in a national economy, has helped the Fed hold its policy steady despite political pressure and the plunge in stocks. The economy grew faster than expected in the second and third quarter of 2018, but wages, the main driver of inflation, were offset by productivity gains. This is about the best economic news you could ask for. Meanwhile, this week's release of the monthly survey of purchasing executives at the nation's non-manufacturing companies, which accounts for 88% of U.S. economic activity, after hitting an all-time record high in August, dropped only slightly in September. A sharp rally the day after the election left stocks only 5% off their all-time high. The economy shows no signs of recession, and October's correction seems so long ago. No one can predict the future of stock prices, but with the showdown looming larger in Washington and rising trade tensions, investors may find comfort knowing that the Federal Reserve has held steady to its long-term forecast for 2% inflation and moderate growth amid political and market turbulence. Thank you for listening. Please contact us with any questions, and also contact us if you're interested in our complimentary second opinion on your investments or to set up a meeting regarding your wealth. Don't hesitate to share this video with people who might benefit from our work. Thank you again, and have a great day.